Immigrants rallied in downtown Raleigh today to oppose a bill they say would make their community less safe. It would require sheriffs to cooperate with federal immigration enforcement. State lawmakers say it's needed to take criminals off the streets. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie brings you both sides of that debate. Republican lawmakers have actually passed this bill twice in recent years. It's been vetoed each time by Governor Roy Cooper. But Republicans now have enough votes to override Cooper's veto. And they say it's more important than ever to pass this bill because of the crisis at the southern border. Stand up, fight back! When immigrants' rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! Romy Salgado came to the U.S. without permission decades ago. She's a citizen now. Pagamos impuestos! Even if it's hard for legislators to recognize, we are productive. We pay taxes. We contribute to the culture of this state. And we are human beings with rights. She and others urge state lawmakers not to pass a bill to require sheriffs to cooperate with federal immigration officials. Sheriffs would also be required to run ICE checks on people who can't prove their legal status. Ileana Santillan with advocacy group El Pueblo said it paints the whole immigrant community as criminals. We've seen the data from other states that have implemented similar laws. People are being detained for minor infractions or even just because of how they look. Santillan said it could lead to undocumented immigrants being deported because of a traffic stop. But Senator Danny Britt said that won't happen. Without those good, hardworking folks in eastern North Carolina, the agriculture industry would shut down, the construction industry would shut down. That's not what this bill does. This deals with violent offenders who have been deported for violent acts. About 10 North Carolina sheriffs, mostly from urban counties, including Durham and Wake, were elected after promising not to cooperate with ICE. But most North Carolina sheriffs already do, including Rockingham Sheriff Sam Page. When we remove criminal offenders from our community, we make our community safer. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. Uh, so the full Senate is expected to pass this bill tomorrow, and then it goes back to the House for final approval.